So come on in. This is uh, the gift shop at the Devil's Canyon Mystery Cave. These are my one of my favorite items here. It's a coffee mug. Bought uh, six of these for my mother for Mother's Day. She enjoys them, thinks they're great. I told her it was a butt so she wouldn't get weird about it. I've traveled the world many times, and so these are some artifacts that I've gotten from other gift shops. This is from a gift shop in Zimbabwe, which is cool. This is from a gift shop in Kauai. Well, it's actually from the airport in Kauai. I didn't make it onto the island because I had a problem with my driver's license. This is one of my favorite parts of the store. It's just kind of a fun little thing. Any knife you want for 10 bucks. This is a good knife to take into a fight just because it looks so goddamn tough. Look at it. Yeah, there's two holes there. Those holes are for uh, air to go through so you can cut someone faster. These are coming back in style. You know, in the 80s, people were really into big buoys, made popular by such films as Rambo, First Blood Part Two. But in the 90s, people moved into guns, and I think people are coming back to buoys now, which is great, because I got a shitload of them, and I'm selling them half off. Here's some lighters. They work, every one of them works, and the good thing is when this runs out, because this is a great joke, it never gets old, and when it runs out, you can just put another lighter in there and just keep it going. This is a jackalope. These are actually in season right now, so it's totally legal to shoot these animals right now. You can kill them any way you want to, with bows and arrows or guns or with buoys. And then I think my favorite thing is over here. What's it gonna be? Coffee maker, the cool painting? It's Donkey Kong. It's this. I can spend hours, and I have spent hours playing this, and I still have not beaten high score, so that's not too cool. The biggest attraction we have here at the store is, of course, dun dun dun, the mystery cave. It's a pretty scary ride, and I tell people this before they get on here. It's like, don't break. If you got a heart condition, if you're pregnant, don't come on this ride. I don't. I don't want to be responsible for someone dying or losing a child. You'd think that a ride like this would consume a mass amount of water, but that's kind of like why this is a real money maker. Is that honestly, the water doesn't cost me shit. I don't spend any money on water because I've tapped into the runoff from the soap factory down the street. But that's cool because I'm not drinking it and just floating my boats in it. And I'm seeing they're setting lights up in front of my trailer, which is also kind of has me a little worried. Okay. Y'all have a permit? Did y'all get a permit? This is my property. Sorry. Okay. So no one's listening to me, which isn't uncommon. Oh, shit. Okay. Be cool, but Will Farrell's here. Uh, Mr. Farrell, uh, I don't know. I'm not... I don't want to make this weird or anything, but these guys were kind of doing a spot on my, my store and yeah. because you're you're shooting your little movie here. So I wanted to see maybe if you well, would... It's kind of a big movie. But... Well, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of... This is more about the commercial. I kind of... I'm do, this is a big commercial for my uh, for, for my shop here. So I just want to know if you would maybe just say that, like, Devil's Canyon Mystery Cave is the scariest thing I've ever... I've ever been on before. Um, I feel weird. Say, I mean, I've never been on it before. I've never even set foot. It doesn't really matter if you haven't been on it. It's okay. You can just just tell the cameras that you've been on it, and that it's super scary, and it's worth the fifteen dollar ticket to it's get $15? on. It's fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. Yeah. Well, I can tell from the outside looking at it, it's not worth fifteen dollars. Okay. Well, this isn't really how this is supposed to go. You're just just would you just smile and just say like it's the best ride I've ever been on. Just the best ride I've ever been on. Okay. Well, let me. Uh, can I just start? Yeah, no. Go for it. Hi, I'm actor Will Ferrell. And the Devil, Devil's Mystery Canyon Cave. Don't, no, no, don't stutter. Just say it straight. Hi, I'm I'm actor Will Ferrell in the Devil's Canyon Mystery Cave. Yeah, don't just look straight at the camera. Don't pretend like I'm telling you to do it. Hi, I'm actor Will Ferrell in the Devil's Canyon Mystery Cave. I'm sorry. Can you not stand right, like right next to me, okay. maybe? I mean, you get paid to do this. I would imagine you could say. I'm not. It well, I'm not are you paying me? No. Well, no. I'm not paying him. He likes to ride on his own. Go ahead, just tell him. <laughs> Hi, I'm actor Will Ferrell, and the Devil's Canyon Mystery Cave is one of the scariest rides I've ever been on. See? And he's from Hollywood, so he doesn't lie, does he? No. People from Hollywood, no. He would, he's seen scary. He's seen movies. It's scary, right? Holds up. See? Who's going to argue with Will Ferrell? Not me. It's very scary. See? Who's that? That's a script supervisor, Kate Hartman. Oh, the person who writes the movie? No, no, no. She just makes sure, you know, she helps us make sure we say all the right words. Oh, it's so like the director. Keeps track. No. It's not. 
She just keeps track of continuity and things like that. You look like you could be warm. I have short sleeve shirts in there for sale right now, $27. No, I'm trying to cover up my tattoos. Okay. 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 You can I just, I just wouldn't push it. I just wouldn't push it. Oh, I mean, you're getting more exposure than you'll ever get by us coming here. So just, you know, just be cool. And, and, and don't try to push, don't try to sell anything to anybody? No, no, I mean, you can try, but just maybe stay in your area. Well, this is kind of all my area in a I way. I, well, I guarantee a lot of the crew were talking about taking a gander in there if they aren't, haven't already. So. For real? Yeah, for real. So. Okay. We should probably go back inside then in case anyone wants to come in. Thanks. Thanks, man.